have dominion over circumstances. Luke chapter 8, verses 22 to 25. Now it happened on a certain day that he, Jesus, got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. But he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. And whenever Jesus was confronted with demonic powers, with situations, he rose up with dominion. This was something very different. This was something very unusual about him, which other people were not doing. And here is an example, one instance, in, as recorded for us, where Jesus demonstrated dominion. One moment he was asleep uh, in, in, the, in the ship, uh, just like anyone else would. Uh, but when the situation arose that was causing trouble and distress, he didn't come forward and say, oh no, this is the end of all of us. Let's pray our last prayers and go down into a watery grave. That was not the way he handled it. He rose up with the spirit of a conqueror. He rose up with dominion and he commanded the winds and the waves to be still because he had indicated their plan. They were going to go to the other side and he rose up a dominion. And it's also interesting to see how he addressed his disciples. He turned around to his disciples. He didn't tell them, boy, thanks for waking me up. I could help you. That was not what he said. He turned around to his disciples and he asked them, where is your faith? Meaning, guys, if you had faith, you didn't need to wake me up. You could have dominated this whole situation and we could have reached the other side. You could have done what I'm doing. That was the implication of his question, where is your faith? But here's the message. As born again believers, as people in covenant with God, and those who have been redeemed to reign in life, and those who have been positioned at the right hand of the Father in a place of dominion, we must understand that God's intent for us originally, as in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, was for us to have dominion over all the earth which includes the circumstances and situations that prevail around us. And so when you are confronted with various situations, don't get alarmed if you face difficult or troublesome or turbulent situations. You arise up with the spirit of a conqueror. You learn to dominate. You say, I am going to dominate the storm. I am going to dominate the winds and the waves that are blowing. And you arise up with what's in you and you exercise your God-given authority and the dominion that you have to subdue the storm, to calm the storm, to put the winds and the waves down to rest. You have that God-given authority. You have that God-given dominion in you. Now, you've got to exercise it. Now, if as believers, if we don't exercise it, then we're going to end up down under the waters. But if we do exercise it, we can walk in dominion. I want to encourage you in your everyday life, walk as Christ walked. Walk in meekness, walk in humility, walk in simplicity. But when you're faced with demons, when you're faced with the winds of the waves, when you're faced with the systems and the evil of this world, rise up like Christ did. Dominate them because dominion is in you. God gave it to you. Let's pray. Father, we just pray that you'll help us walk in our God-given dominion to subdue the winds and the waves, the storms, the circumstances, the situations, to bring in subjection to the system of evil and rebellion, to destroy the works of the devil. Help us to walk in this because you've given it to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.